Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing good. I finally got in my Kringle Candle order. So I had placed this order um, back in March prior to their factory shutting down, but this was also a pre-order of their three wick candles. I don't remember which ones I ordered, but when I got home today, it is, I'm filming this on Friday, June 19th. The days are flying by. I, I can't even believe that we're almost to the end of June. So I got these in. So I wanted to start burning them. So I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to do a haul video for you. I picked up six. They were six dollars or six for sixty dollars. It was a pre-sale order. And um, and then like I said, COVID hit. These were pre-order, so I didn't expect them like right away. Um, but then I started seeing people, other people on social media hauling them. So I was like, oh my gosh, I hope mine are coming. So I'm pretty excited. They all look pretty safe and they're all different uh, scents and flavors. So without further ado, let's talk about my Kringle Candle haul. The first one is called Mountains and it is a 14.5 ounces. So just like a Bath and Body Works and it's got very pretty. Oh, I didn't see the bird. So it's got a little bird on the back and then mountains in the background. Let's see if the scent notes are on here. I do not see the scent notes. So we're going to get Jackie notes. I... Ooh. This is a really pretty... It's three wicks. It literally looks like a Bath and Body Works candle in the jar just like that. I don't see a packing slip. Yes, I do. Let me see if the scent notes are on here. No, they are not. Let me just be sure they're not on the bottom. It just says mountains, Kringle Candle. They're in Maine or Massachusetts, excuse me. Huh. So this is very spa-like and it's kind of got like a perfume aspect to it. It's kind of a unisex perfume. I'm excited about that. So this is the first one. So with its little lid, it is a very pretty candle. Um, and it says Zen right here. And it's got like an Asian symbol there. Super cool. So I got that one. Next up is Sorry Not Sorry. Um, I'm, now I'm remembering some of the candle names. This one's called Bougie. It says your winged liner sharp wit could cut a bee. No need to apologize for being so fierce. Be yourself with the ultimate combination of tantalizing amber, pure gardenia, and a flicker of zesty orange blossom. So this one is sorry, not sorry, bougie. <laughs> so cute. Um, ooh, and it's a gray colored wax. Uh, again, it just says sorry, not sorry, 14.5 ounces there. And it almost looks like um, wood. And it definitely is a gardenia flower scent. I don't smell the um, the orange. But I do get a sweet aspect to it. I get kind of a juicy scent from it. That is interesting. I'm excited about these. I'm excited to see how these perform. Um, I've used their wax melts and some of their single wick candles. So when I saw these coming out and they're very similar, you know, to the shape and the way that Bath and Body Works carries, I was so interested. You guys know everybody in the world. We're so disappointed with Bath and Body Works. So we need something to, you know, help us. This one is farmhouse caramelized pecans or pecans. I'm so excited about this one. And look at that galvanized penny looking lid. No scent notes. So you're going to get Jackie notes. Oh my God. Yes. Just on cold sniff. This candle is good. It's cream colored. It definitely smells like caramel and you do get that nutty note of the pecans. I'm just warming up the wax with my finger. Oh my Lord, this smells like a dessert. It's very sweet and authentic. I, I love caramel scented candles. 
I don't want them to smell like syrup. I don't like that kind because sometimes people might feel like that's like a caramely scent. I like straight up caramel. I don't like maple syrup or a syrup scent. But this smells really good. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about these. I hope these burn well. I hope they perform well. I got another one of the Zen candles. And it also has the Asian symbol, I believe, for love on the front. And it's called love. And then there's some pretty graphics all the way around. These are wraps on them. Yeah, they're all wrapped in their... Jazzy Sue, she's scratching on her... Uh post behind us. So here's this one. Oh my gosh. This smells like a really pretty flower, like with a spa aspect to it. Like almost like a peony kind. Oh, the wicks are different colors. Look at their green and red. I just noticed that only on that one. Yeah, so far it's just on this love one. This reminds me of something. Something. It reminds me of a party light candle. If you guys ever have tried party light, um, their stuff is really good. That was a big thing back in the you know late nineties or late eighties, early nineties. My mom used to have party light parties, and this reminds me of one of the party light candles. That smells so good. Really pretty with the graphics with the lady on there. So cute. I love that one. So that's number four. Next one is another bougie one and it's called a Boss Lady. So it is Gold Diggers Always Rise to Their Favorite Position. CEO. Oh, not, not Gold Diggers. Gold Diggers, G-O-A-L, Diggers, always rise to their favorite position, CEO. Break the glass ceiling with empowering notes of eucalyptus, orange, and rose. And it's just like the other one that looks like wood. It says Boss Lady there on the front. This is different. It's again gray. This smells like a men's cologne with and a female cologne. Like it's a masculine and a feminine. Like it's like it mixes together. What were the notes? Eucalyptus, orange, and rose. I don't really get the eucalypt. Well, yeah, I guess I do. I get a little bit of the eucalyptus. It's hard. It's going to be really, really hard to decide which one of these to burn first. And I love the fact that it looks like a black wood floor or a wall back there like a paneling I can smell the orange but it's not too orange it's not like headache inducing or too citrusy and I do get the rose I can smell the rose in there and then the last one that I got is called oh I forgot about this caramel apple I was really excited about this another one of the farmhouse ones and again these are all 14.5 fluid ounces or this smells good. Cream colored wax. This smells just like a caramel apple. I don't know which one of these I'm going to burn first, you guys. This is going to be hard to decide. This is a good caramel apple. It's a very, um, it's sweet and it's got a little bit of a sharp apple scent. It's very close to like my Johnny Appleseed with Scentsy and my caramel sugar comb when I mix those two. Jazzy Sue. <laughs> she, she's got to be some part almost always. Now she's laying on my leg. Um, and I know these were a pre-sale, so I don't know if they're going to be available on their website or when they go for sale or if these are fall candles. I can't really remember. I'm in a Facebook group on Facebook that talks about Kringle candles, um, which the, the creator and founder of Kringle, his father is the founder of Yankee Candle. This smells really good. This is very... It smells just like the caramel apples that you would get in the fall. I mix it. It does. It takes me back to a place that we I used to go to where I lived at in Ypsilanti near Ann Arbor, and it was an orchard. And the, one of their stores smelled like this, like a marketplace, and it kind of smells like them. 
So I don't know which one of these I'm going to burn first, but I am going to turn this video off and light one. I'm just not sure. I might start with the caramelized um, pecans. I think that's going to be my first go-to. I am excited about this. So that is that one right there. I think this will be the one I light first. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching this. I hope that you do something kind for yourself. Don't forget to be kind to others. You know, you got cats all over you, a dog laying next to you, whatever it is. I hope you guys are well and I will talk to you soon. Bye.